Hello, Bio 100 students. This is a virtual cell model lab, and I wanted to provide a little tutorial for you so that uh, you can have a, have a good time with it. All right, so let me really quickly find where to go. Oh, ha. There it is. All right. Uh, so what you want to do is get on your screen. If you've got a big enough screen, hopefully you do. Um, if not, make sure you've got this printed out um, in a way that you can look at the worksheet that is available. Uh, both of these are available on the link for, for this lab, uh, the virtual cell model study. OK, so we've got this over here. Uh, you've clicked on this button and it brings you to this model. Okay. I've checked the links. They are working fine for, for me. So if you're having issues getting this open, it could be a couple of things. Um, it could be your web browser and you need to clear out your cookie cookies. Um, so you might try a different web browser or clear uh, your internet cookies or history out. Um, if it's still not working when you do that, and you've tried a couple of different browsers, uh, you might try a different internet signal. So if you have a poor internet signal, this might not load uh, very well. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully that's not an issue. You can see this thing. We've got a cell here with a ruler on it. And so we can do a couple of things with that. All right, so what we're gonna do is, uh, so it tells you first to kind of explore. You can move this ruler around kind of stuck where it's at, right? So it's not going to move very much. You can move. So how am I moving this? I'm using my uh, mouse. I've clicked on my mouse and I'm holding it down and I can adjust where this is going. If you're using like an iPad or a touch, a touch screen a laptop, you should be able to touch the screen to move things in. You can also uh, pinch zoom in and out. If you don't have a touch screen where you can do pinch zooming, um, you can use the little roller on your mouse and the ruler, little roller can go in and out and it will magnify the different things that are things that you'll have to look at as part of this lab. Um, this, these boxes down here kind of do the same thing. You can click on them. Um, and it will adjust automatically to a, couple of preset positions. Okay. All right. So, but this is pretty much where we want to be. We're going to zoom in. We've got a cell here with a bunch of organelles available to us. And now it says, use the ruler to measure the following structures. Your ruler measures in micrometers. So that's what this symbol is right here. Uh, micrometers. So this would be 10 micrometers on this particular ru ruler from here to here would be 10 micrometers, okay? Um, all right, so first thing you wanna do is measure the entire cell length, okay? So uh, if I do that and I measure it out, unfortunately, one of the things I don't like about this is I really can't move the ruler very well. It, it doesn't it's stuck. See that little circle, everything, it kind of just moves around that circle. So you've got to kind of use your, your brain here to measure the, uh, the length of our, um, our cell. Okay. So, you know, roughly this is the starting point. So if you move that, that's roughly our starting point. And you can see that our cell, goes to almost 48 micrometers across. So we could put 48 in there. Um, then you're gonna look at the nucleus and the nucleus is right here. And the nucleus fits maybe 11 or 12 micrometers across, maybe 13, depending on how you're looking at it. Um, so anyway, you're just gonna go down through this list measuring these structures that are available to you. Now, if you can't remember what these structures look like, please go into the textbook 
and find those structures uh, in the textbook in chapters three and four. Uh, so you got your nucleus, you've got your uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum, it's your smooth endo uh, endoplasmic reticulum, um, and all of these different organelles. And some of them are going to get pretty smart, so you're going to have to zoom in in order to get a better look at them, okay? So they're, some of them are going to be like, oh, that's super tiny, not, not something too hard to, to measure out. The next thing is uh, you've got an organelle study. So on the left-hand menu, of, so that's this. This is our left-hand menu. Um, you've got eight buttons uh, down and is ex as an exploded view. Okay, that's these eight buttons. Okay. Um, so if it's not showing, uh, you can click on the little these three little lines and it should show up for you over here. Okay. All this stuff. All right. All right. So on each organelle, you're going to click right click on the organelle. Okay. So zoom in, zoom in, see how it's highlighted. You're going to right click on your mouse and it will tell you that it's the nuclear envelope, right? Um, can get a little more information from advanced and then it, it will talk about some current research right so that's where you're headed next is current research so you're going to right click on the organelle you're going to click research you're going to read this a nucleus envelope is double layered membrane surrounding the nucleus in eukaryotic cells the nuclear envelope contains nuclear pores that allow that allow and regulate the transport of materials such as RNA between the nucleus and the cytoplasm. All right, so then you can say, okay, what's the description of the nuclear envelope? And you can answer these, uh, these questions right here. Just fill that in, that information in. Uh, what's the purpose of the nuclear envelope? Well, that's the why you're reading this, you're trying to figure that out. Um, so hopefully you can do that. So then you've got your nucleoplasm. That's the stuff on the inside. You can see it's highlighted here. Uh, so you're going to do the same thing again, right click in order to get that to come up. And you're going to go to each one of these things. So that's the nucleolus. We've got our cytoplasm out here. You're going to get your description and purpose for each one of those and each one of these structures all the way down. So it's actually not too hard. Uh, you just have to remember to right click on the different organelles so that you get the right thing, okay? All right, so hopefully that will help you get through this uh, particular lab and I hope you have a great day.